In this video tutorial, we will learn how we can do image and video segmentation with ULNAS and Segment Anything model. We will test on multiple images and videos. So let's get started. So here is the Google Colab Notebook for this project. In this project, we will be doing image and video segmentation using Segment Anything model and ULNAS. So, Yolanas is the latest state-of-the-art object detection model. Yolanas outperform all the previous object detection models, which include Yolo V8, Yolo V7, Yolo V6, Yolo V5, and Yolo X. While Segment Anything model is released by Meta AI Facebook, and it is used for object segmentation, to do segmentation on images and videos, and it performs and gives very awesome results. So, in this video tutorial, we will be combining Yolanas, which will do object detection, as well as we will also combine segment editing model to do segmentation on images as well as on videos. So let's get started. So here uh, you can see that we have divided this complete project into 13 different steps which you can see over here. Before running the script, please make sure that you have selected the runtime as GPU. So you can see that I have selected T for GPU as well as after selecting the T for GPU, or because Google Colab offers free GPU, but it's for limited usage. So you can use Google Colab free G GPU for this project and it will work fine. So after selecting uh, the hardware accelerator as GPU, we will install all the required packages. The package installation takes some time. So I've already installed all these packages. So I'm installing supervision package. Why I'm installing supervision, uh, super gradients package. So you can see that first I am installing super gradients package. So ULNAS comes under the super gradient package. So to do object detection with ULNAS, we need to have the super gradients package. Next, we require segment anything model package. So to do object segmentation, we require the segment anything model package. And here we have the supervision package. So we will be using the supervision package along with the segment anything model package so that we can do object segmentation on images and videos. And as ULNAS comes under the super gradients package, so here we are installing Super Gradients package and this is the version 3.1.3. If you install 3.1.1, it will give error. So please make sure that you install Super Gradients version 3.1.3. So I've already installed these packages. So before going ahead, after installing the packages, please make sure that you restart the runtime. So after you restart the runtime, then you just need to import all the required libraries. So here we are importing OpenCV Python CV2 package. So to do, we requires OpenCV Python CV2 package. Uh, so to display the input or input or output video uh, using the OpenCV Python package, we can read the input and output video plus we can also do a different image processing, uh, apply different image processing functions using OpenCV Python or CV2 package. Then we have the math package, we require the math package to calculate the particular score. Then we have uh, NumPy, so uh, we use NumPy package to convert a list into an array and uh, we require the random package so that we can generate random colors. Here we are just importing supervision as SV. The short form of supervision is SV, which we will be using in this code. So we require supervision package because uh, we will be using it with the segment anything model. So now to display the input or output image, uh, we will be using matplotlib package. And here we are using cv2.im shows. We will also be using this package to display the input and output image. And then we from super gradient dot training, I importing models so that I can use ULNAS model. So in the, from super gradient package, I importing models so that I can use ULNAS models. ULNAS comes with three different models. ULNAS small, medium, large. In this tutorial, I will be using ULNAS small model. ULNAS small model is uh, more fast, but it is less accurate as compared to other ULNAS model. But ULNAS large model is, uh, is the uh, most accurate, but it is uh, a bit slower than other Yolanas models, but and Yolanas video models come between Yolanas small and Yolanas large model. And from segment anything model, I am just importing mass generators, segment anything predictor, and segment anything model model registry. Okay. So I'm importing all these three packages so that I can just create a mask on my detected object. So now I will be also be importing some uh, downloading some demo videos from my drive. So we will be using these demo videos uh, to test my model on in images and videos. So here you can see that I'm just downloading five different, uh, different videos. 
I've already placed those videos in my drive. So I'm directly downloading those videos from drive into this Google OLAP notebook. So I will be testing the Euronas and segmenting model on these uh, input videos. And we will see how we can do image and video segmentation using Euronas and segment anything model. So now you can see that uh, I'm just uh, uploading a video. So you can see that we have uh, downloaded all these videos over here. You can see all these videos. So now I will just copy this video path from here and just add this path over here. And let's uh, read this video. So or you can say that we are just loading the input video and calculating the frame width and height. So it's using OpenCV Python CV2 video capture function. I'm just loading the input video. Okay. So now here I'm just downloading the pre-trained Euronas model weights. So I am just downloading Euronas small model pre-trained weights into over here. So if you just run this cell, you will be able to download the Euronas small model pre-trained weights. So the uh, pre-trained weight size is 73.1 MB. And currently we have the GPU available. So we will be using GPU. But in any case, if you don't have the GPU available, you can always use CPU. So let's first see how we can do object detection with Euronas. So uh, as we have uh, downloaded the Euronas small model weights and it is trained on Coco dataset. So Coco dataset consists of 81, 80 different classes. So here I have just mentioned the, all the name of those classes. So the Coco dataset, as I told you, uh, is, uh, consists of 80 different classes and Euronas pre-trained model is being trained on the Coco dataset, which consists of 80 different classes. Okay, so let's run this cell. And let's see how we'll be able to do object detection on this video with YOLO NAS. So it's started now. So this might take a few seconds as we go ahead. So now you can see that uh, we are able to do object detection. And here you can see that uh, we have the frame count over here. These are the uh, bonding box coordinates for each of the detected object. Like you can see over here, these are the bonding box coordinates for each of the detected object which you can see over here. So this might take few seconds before we are ready to see the results. So now you can see that detections on each of the frame is done by one by one and in the output, we get the complete video. So the detection on each of the frame will be done one by one. So now we have done in one 42 frames uh, has been done. So this might take a minute or two and we have the results over here. So now you can see as we are using GPU, so the uh, detection speed is very fast. The frame count is good. But if you are using CPU, the detection or the frame count will be very low. So this might, this will go at in till to 80 frames and then it will end. But let's see how much time does it takes. So here you can see the output 1.avi. So let me just show you. So you can see here, we are just using cv2.videowriter function to save the output video. And our output video will be saved by the name output1.avi. So you can see that our output video will be saved by the name output1.avi. You can change this name as well. And here we have set the frame rate as 10. So our out in, in our output video, we have a frame rate of 10. And here we are just setting the frame width and height, which we have calculated above over here. Along with this, uh, we are just, uh, just writing the format of the output video over here. And now you can see here, we are just setting the confidence score of 0.35. So all the detections are all detections which have a confidence of 0.35 or 35% or above. So we will draw the bounding boxes around them. Okay, so all the object, detected objects which have a confidence of the 35 or 35% above, we will draw bounding boxes around them. Okay, so I have already displayed the output video. So you can download this video over here. And let me show you the output video. So here you can see the output video. You can see that we are able to detect a person as well and the results are quite good. So you can see that uh, the person is being, we are able to detect a person, the wall as well. So we are able to get the good results. So now we have seen that how we can do object detection with Euronas. So now let's go to another step and now we will see how we can do image and video segmentation using Euronas and segment anything model. So as you could see that we have downloaded uh, Euronas model pre-trained weights uh, so to do object detection. 
So now we will also download a segment anything model, pre-trained checkpoints or pre-trained weights so that we can do a segmentation using segment anything model. So now you can see that I'm just downloading the segment anything model weights file over here. So this might take few seconds, uh, okay. So segment anything models comes with three different uh, models as well. So we are just using the small model of the segment anything model. For more details, you can check the segment anything model GitHub repository as well. So you can see we have downloaded the segment anything model weights and here I've just passed the path over here. So here you can see that we have downloaded the segment anything model uh, weights. You can see those over here. And here I've just passed the segment anything model checkpoints over here. The model type is with H, which you can see over here. And we are using the device as GPU, not CPU. Okay. So now we will initialize the segment anything model automatic mass generator parameter and we will be drawing the segment mass on our output image or on our image or as well as on video. Okay. So here we are just loading the segment anything model checkpoint. Okay. So now we will see how we can do video segmentation using Yodanas and segment anything model. So we will first detect the object using Yodanas. After detecting the object, we will draw the mass around the detected object using segment anything model. So first we will detect the object using segment anything model. Then we will draw mass around the detected object using segment anything model. So here I am just loading the car video over here. So now you can see over here. First, we are just detecting the object. Here, we are just uh, finding the bounding box coordinates, confidence score, and label. And after detecting the uh, object, we will add the after detecting the object and drawing the bounding box around them and finding the labels and the confidence score. We are using segmenting model. We are just drawing the mass around each of the detected object. So, using segmenting model, we are drawing the mass around each of the detected object. So using Yodanas object detection model, we first detect the object and after detecting the object using Yodana, uh, after detecting the object using Yodanas, uh, we, will, uh, we use segment anything model to draw the mask around each of the detected objects. So we are using segment anything model to draw mask around each of the detected object and we are using Yodanas object detection model to do object detection. So now it has started. Uh, this might take few seconds because this process is a bit time consuming. So this will take some time. And as it completes, then I will show you the output videos, uh, different output videos over here. And you can see as well, as well as we will see how we can do image segmentation using your NAS and segment editing model as well. So this is a bit time taking process. So let's wait as it gets completes. I will show you the output video. So currently we are doing segmentation using your NAS and segment anything model or you can say that we are doing object detection and segmentation using your NAS and segment anything model on a video so let's wait until it gets complete oh so you can see that it's done we are able to do video seg video segmentation using your NAS and segment anything model so now uh, i have already displayed the output video over here so let me just download this video and let me just show you the results as well. So, so now you can see over here, we are able to do segmentation on the video using Yodanas and segment anything model. Using Yodanas, we are doing object detection and using segment anything model, we are uh, doing segmentation where we are just uh, drawing the mask around each of the detected objects. So let's go ahead. So I have done object segmentation and detection on other video as well. So let me just download this video. I've already shown this video in demo. So let me just download this video and show you the result of this video over here as well. So now you can see over here, we are able to do detection and segmentation using your NAS and segment anything model. So with, uh, using your NAS, we are doing object detection and using segmenting model, we are drawing mass around each of the detected object. So here is the output tree. I've already shown this in the demo. So 
here is another video over here you can see as well we are doing object detection egg segmentation using villanas and segmenting model so let me download this video okay so let me show you the results so now here you can see that we are doing object detection with your NAS and with, we are using segmenting model. We are just creating a mask around each of the detected object. So we are good to go. So we have seen that how we can do object detection and segmentation using your NAS and segmenting model on video. We can also do image segmentation with your NAS and segmenting model. So I will download some demo video, uh, some images, uh, sample images from Drive into the Google Colab Notebook. So I have collected these images from different resources. Also, I have just placed these images in my drive. So I'm directly downloading those images from my drive into the Google Colab Notebook instead of uploading these images one by one over here. So now you can see we have the horses image one.gpg. So let's see how we can do image segmentation with your NAS and segmenting model. So this might take few seconds before we get the result over here. So now you can see over here, we are able to do image segmentation and detection using your NAS and segmenting model. You can test it on some other image as well. So here you can see that we are able to do uh, image segmentation and object detection and segmentation on the horse image, as well as you can test on this image as well. You can see we are able to do object detection and segmentation on this image as well. So that's all from this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.